would now find the center for this page to draw a mandala so i'm just keeping my scale and then drawing a random line at the center and then keep it like this so the point where your scale and that line meets is the center of the page so now we have found the center of the page okay so from here we can start drawing circles so let's do that now the first circle we would draw for about 2 cm okay so i'm just measuring so maybe we can erase this line before we start drawing circles so that later we can make some sensible lines as we need so now the 2 cm circle is done we need six more circles so 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 that's how we are going to draw it now so every time i'm i'm just going to measure So three, four, five. Seven, eight. See, we are done with the circling part now. Um, what we would do right now is to draw a line in the center. Let the line not move out of the circle, it should be within the circle like this. See, the lines that I have drawn are within the circle. It has not moved outside the circle. So now, use your protractor. And for every um, 30 degrees, we would mark. So here is zero. Maybe for every 20 also we can do now. So 20, 40, 60. See smaller the grid, easier it is for us to make intricate mandalas. So if you really want you can even try with uh, every 10 degree as well. But as if now we are focusing only on making um, a simple mandala so I've taken 20 degrees so now in one side the marking is done so I have moved I'm moving to the other side now so again 0 is already marked 180 is also marked so 20 40 60 80 100 120 140, 160. So once it is smart, it's going to be like this.